All right, everybody who's back on YouTube, welcome back. Let's go and uh, continue some of the things that we were doing. Let's see. Let's check this menu. Let's see where we have. We have a few things going on. We have this one that we can do. Um, Let's just go ahead and start that one. We're kind of in a tough, really odd spot. We have enemies coming from all directions. But enemies are usually pretty easy along on this side. Um, we also have we also can complete this one over here as well. There's also the, the vocational school one too that we can do and go back and finish that one. Um, since we're right over here, we might as well we're gonna have to like push our way through some enemies. So we might as well just go south. We don't really have a choice. They're like in our way. So let's just go ahead and take him out. Got right. Get I'll show you. I'm not that this might take him all out. We'll see. Let's go. Funky does it. You're weak. Right. Hope everyone's having a good day out there. Oh, okay. There's also a little conversation we can have there too. There you go. Got hit by a car. I'll splurge and buy some. Oh, I like what you have on now, Sajan. That stuff not enough? Oh, I really like this outfit, but nothing makes you feel more refreshed than a new look, right? Don't you ever feel that way, Nanja? Oh, sure. I get that. Whenever I want to change things up, I pick up some new cardboard and rebuild the house. Oh, yeah. That would be pretty refreshing. I mean, technically, yes, but no, not at all. <laughs> Hmm? Hmm? I don't actually have this taxi. Sweet. Perfect. Okay. Lots of properties on sale here. They even got a four bedroom with a living room, kitchen, dining room, and a yard. I'd love to live in a place like that someday. Yeah? I don't know. Sounds a little too big for me. Huh? Prison got you to like small spaces, is that it? Shut up, man. Think about it. You got your place now with a futon, toothbrush, and a cup of noodles all within reach. Or some big old house with all that shit separated by five rooms or something. Which sounds better? The house? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's you. Okay. Dear, that wasn't enough time. <laughs> Excuse me, do you need help crossing the street? Well, of sorts. 
Yes. Looks to me like the signal changes pretty quick. Why don't I just carry you over? No. And while I do appreciate your kindness, that won't be necessary. Are you sure you're gonna be okay like that? I'll be fine. You see, I made the decision to walk with my own two feet until I'm dead and gone. Heck, I won't even get in a car unless I have to. Well, at least you're sticking to your guns. Yes, and that's why I intend to cross this street without any assistance. <laughs> okay, then if that's the case... Oh, it's green. All right, Umeko. You can do this. Here we go. <sighs> Oh dear, how many times has it been now? Guess Granny's been at it for a while. Why don't you go to a different crosswalk? Maybe without a signal. If I did, that means that's a victory for this here crosswalk, and I can't let it win. Oh, I do wish these old legs of mine were quicker. I wish I could just carry her, but I doubt she'd go along with her. Hmm. You know, I'd like to help, but I'm fresh out of ideas. <laughs> Don't you worry about me, son. I just think I'll head home for the day. Oh. So itchy. Okay. So let's go a little bit farther down this way. It burns. It mm -hmm. burns. <laughs> what happened to him? Uh, uh, this isn't selling at all. Ooh. Oh, how about you, young man? Want to buy some kimchi? Just whipped up a fresh new batch. Well, it isn't fresh, strictly speaking. But don't go calling it old and rot now. I won't, but why are you selling kimchi out here? Ah! Wanting to earn a living, of course. It's nice to be out in the city talking to the locals. Thanks for good advertising. Yes. So, how about it? Want to try a little sample? Oh, can I? Since I'm here, I might as well. Ooh, it looks good. <laughs> having it in front of me makes me makes my mouth water all right here goes nothing just a matter of crunch got a nice kick or wait this is more than a kick holy oh oh my it burns Well, did you like it? You bastard! Did I like it? What is in that stuff? It was like I was chewing hot glass. Oof. Okay. I think I'm cooling down. Huh. <sighs> you know, now that the spice were off, I can actually taste the rest of it. And it's good. No, it's damn good. It's got this sour sort of pepperness to it. Maybe all the spice unlocked the hidden flavor. And even though the spice really kicked my ass, I kind of want more. Yo. Yeah, tell me, Gramps. 
What's in this kimchi? <laughs> it seems you learned to appreciate the finer subtleties of kimchi. Kudos to you. To make this concoction of mine, I use a secret pepper. Gives it a subtle pecans unlike any other. Not to mention a heck of a bite. That pepper is known as the devil's claw, by the way. No one found it in any market, that's for sure. Devil's claw. No wonder it's hot. Mm. Fortunately, not everyone can bear the intensity. Most people will take off running before they can discover its true potential. But that's why the other dude was running around all crazy. Kimchi works wonders on your health, particularly your skin. But I suppose it's a hard sell when people start screaming bloody murder. <sighs> well, it does pack a punch. I thought I was going to die for a second. Never dies eating kimchi. It's enjoyed by people of all ages. <laughs> That being said, it seems like no one around here actually wants my kimchi. It makes me very sad. Yeah, I can imagine. Crazy how one little pepper adds so much heat. Oh, yes. There's peppers out there that add more than just spice. Some are even sweeter than cherry tomatoes. All that aside, I firmly believe the cabbage fermented with the devil's claw results in the most... in some truly amazing kimchi. <laughs> well, I'm glad at least one person tried it. It doesn't do much to reassure me, but I'll take what I can get. Too bad it nearly melts your mouth before you finally start to enjoy it. Ugh. But if no one can handle the heat, then my kimchi is going nowhere. A product that won't sell is no good. Anyway, I'm thinking I'm closing up a shop for today, so how about you take the rest of this bash off my hands? Mm -hmm. Oh, you sure? So good. Yeah, eat it all. Give it to your friends. Do what you like. That's for me. I'm going to shuffle out of here. Mm. It's a nice gesture, but I can't imagine who would want to eat this. I have an idea of who. Senpai, don't leave me. Yo. Hey, are you alright? Uh sorry, it's just that I thought you were crying. Oh, yeah. I guess I was. Stop. Could always lend you an ear if you want. Helps to let it out sometimes, you know. We don't want to vent this stranger. I get that too. To be honest, it shouldn't be that a big deal. My senpai, who have loved for so long, is suddenly going to study abroad. Oh. Okay. 
And after he gets back, he's going straight to college, which is far away from here. I came to the station to let him know my feelings, but the thought of never seeing him introduced me to tears. Tears that won't stop flowing. I get it now. So the senpai of yours, is he really gone? Aww. No, he's at the platform. But that means he's almost going to leave, no? Right. I want nothing more than to, to go see him off, but I can't let senpai see me like this. Now with the eyes all puffy and my makeup smeared, I look disgusting. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. It is, too. I would die if he only remembered me as some slobby, snot-dripping mess. <sighs> but I also die just to see him one more time. Send him off with a, with a warm smile. Maybe a, more ki a warm kiss, but I'll never have. Mm. Hey, hey. No need to be so down on yourself. I know. I should just go. Senpai is right up those steps, too. But if I see him, it'll be a total disaster. I'm sure of it. Oh, what should I do? It's like my feet are stuck in place. I can't move forward or back. <laughs> it's like, no matter what I do, it's going to turn out wrong. Letting go of someone is always hard. Wish there was some way I could help. All she needs is a little courage to take the first step forward. Man, she's not like that businessman running full speed ahead. Of course. That was only because of the kimchi. Um, is something wrong? You went all quiet all of a sudden. Oh, no, I'm good. Now, there's an idea. I'll give her some ultra spicy kimchi that runs up the she runs up those stairs without a second thought. But her farewell might be ruined if the stuff's too strong. What's the best option here? Share the kimchi! Listen, I know it's tough being away from someone you really care about. I would know. You would? Yeah. Yeah. And all you want to do is give him a piece of your mind, right? Yes. My feet won't move no matter what I do. Then why don't I give you a little push? Huh? Here. Don't ask, just eat. Wait, what? Come on. Ew, no. Why kimchi? Why are you trying to feed me? I'm not trying to feed you. I'm offering you a shortcut to success. Now get over yourself and try it. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard from a stranger, no less. Thinking kimchi is going to solve my problems? The train will be arriving shortly. On platform one, please wait behind the yellow line. Hey. Hey. Clock's ticking. You have to leave right now or it's game over. Ask yourself. Do I want to see my senpai or not? Wakatta. Fine. If she's going to help, I'll do it. But I doubt this will change anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, this is way too spicy. Oh, this is way too spicy. Oh, this is way too spicy. <laughs> this is funny. Just watch this. <laughs> Well, that's one way to light the fire. Maybe I check on her just in case. Hmm? Hmm. Excuse me. Can't go in without purchasing a ticket, sir. Even if you are seeing someone off. Oh, right. Looks like the train took off. Hope oh, she made it to her senpai in time. Joker, what's wrong? Your face is all red. <coughs> it was the kimchi. Here, let me get you the first. Take you to the first. Get you to the first aid office. No, I'll, I'll be all right. It's not as bad as it looks. Anyway, I'm sorry. I made you miss your train. That's not what's important. I'm just glad you're okay. Senpai. Me. Listen, there's something I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is it? 
I've been feeling this way for a long time, and yeah, that would be a good time to. Yes, this would be a good time to bail. Hey, yo. Tell them how you feel. Ah. Oh, yeah, I did. And guess what? He's going to the same college once I graduate high school. That is. He did say he'll be waiting for me, though. Sweet. So it all worked out, huh? I think so. It's going to be a lonely road until then. Plus, I'm kind of a ditz. I don't even know if I'll get a even get accepted. Arigato. But even so. I'm not gonna let that deter me. And hey, thanks for helping a girl out. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Must be nice to be young and in love. See, your face was leaky as a faucet. Your cheeks were red as a tomato, but a beautiful smile is what really counts. Eh? Gee, thanks. Really could have done without the kimchi, you know. <laughs> yeah, probably. My bad. Sorry, Sheesh. Well, I guess I should go study. Gotta work hard to get into the right school. Okay. Yeah, I bet. Good luck. Hey, actually, the kimchi wasn't too bad. Thanks for the snack. I should be the one thanking you. Mm. You showed me just how useful a container of kimchi can be. Maybe I'll share this with others who look like they need it. Are there other people who need this? Let's see. You Let see, okay. Nobody over here, nobody over there. Could go up to possibly this one and complete that one right now. We could do that. It looks like a possibility since it's kind of like on our way. Yeah, let's do it. Out of my way, Eddie. I have good news and bad news. What? Here we go. Which one do you want to hear first? They always ask that in foreign dramas. I'd want to hear the bad news first. Just get it out of the way. Same. Bad news for me, too. I'd rather not have any unpleasant aftertaste. I'd want to hear the good news. I always eat my favorite stuff first. Don't leave us hanging, Adachi-san. What's the news? Well, the good news is I just learned something about you guys. And the bad news? There's no punchline to this bit. <laughs> what an asshole. The place owns, I like, should be somewhere around here. This is about the bat, the baseball one that we got to do. The guy with the killer slide. We lost the game because of you. What's worse? Hanayama's out for the season. What the hell were you thinking? Well, the beard's new, but that's definitely the guy in the photo. Looks like he's got company, though. Eh? Who would the tough guy act and say something? <laughs> that was all my fault. Even if I were to apologize now, I don't expect to be forgiven. Bastard. Think you can play it off just like that, do you? Even if he did put his friend out of the game, this is too much. Yo. Hey, you're going to be rough on someone who's not even putting up a fight. Who's this joker? Oh, I'm just passing by, but I can't let it slide. Then against one is a little unfair, don't you think? Eh? Back off. This asshole hurt one of our players. Just so his team could get ahead. Oh, yeah? Well, I got some business with him. Maybe you two, maybe you two should take a hike. Shut up. 
Keep it in your mouth and we'll take out our anger on you first. Okay. That was easy. Shit. Who the hell is this guy? You alright? You're that baseball player, Anzai san, right? Arigato. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but you saved me. Thank you. My name's Kazuga. Do you really uh so you really are him? Ooh. Yeah, I am. But I won't be in baseball much longer. Glad I got a hold of you. I met with a guy named Hanayama. You might know him. Hmm? You met with Hanayama? Yeah, he was looking for you. I want to ask you about that slide. Knowing him, he probably said I'd never do something like that, right? Yeah. That's right. Hanayama believes it wasn't your call to make that play. Of course he does. Mm. I thought it would change myself, but seeing how you were acting earlier, it doesn't seem like he's wrong. Can't imagine someone who plays dirty like that. I'll just lie down and take a beating. Yep. Look, I don't know all that Hanayama told you. I did that out of my own will. Nobody ordered me to do it. Then why'd you do it? It's not like you had to pull a dangerous slide like that, right? <sighs> I panicked. Players do it all the time. Especially in a game that could guarantee their team the season. Sure, but you're Hanayama's friend, right? You wouldn't want to put your friend out of the job just for a game. In the world of professional sports, it's all about winning or losing. I can't be saying something naive like that just because he's my friend. So let's leave it at that. The incident was entirely my doing. I'm at fault. I plan on retiring. Isn't that enough? So I really appreciate the save back there. Take care. <sighs> Should tell Hanayama that went down. Better head back. Somebody's stalking us and following us on that. Okay, so yeah, let's take the cab. It's right over here. Okay, let's go. Hey. What it says. Yeah, how's it going? Kazuka san, did you meet with Anzai? Mm. Yeah, I did. But he was persistent about it being his fault. Was he? But he was just like you said. I can see why you believe in him. Thank you, Kazuka san. Still, we're at an impasse as long as he keeps quiet. Oh. Hey, you two. Who are you? My name is Kudo. I'm a journalist. You're Kazuga, right? Hmm? You know each other? I saw how I helped out Hanayama. Kind of embarrassed to say it, but I sort of followed you. What for? It looked like you and Hanayama were really hitting it off. Figured you didn't make a move about that side incident. I even saw you met with Anzai. What's your angle? Chingaute. Don't get the wrong idea. I want to help you two. Hmm? Help us. I'll get right to the point. I've got inside info on the Shark Stars manager. Really? He's had a nasty rumor going around him about him for a while. Nobody would dare say it out loud, though. Everybody knows that he's behind what happened. 
He's even been threatening Anze here and there. What? So I guess the bad press while the jerk gets off scot free. He's got connections all over town, not to mention money and power. Silencing bad publicity. So all in a day's work. I was reported doing some digging. All the wrong things not so long time ago, but apparently both he and the publisher went missing. The press couldn't write about this guy even if they wanted to. <laughs> even if they wanted to, huh? Some journalists. My thoughts exactly why I'm bringing this information to you. And that information is... I was able to find the manager's favorite spot. So a place called Rose Blossom. He comes here from the back entrance. Usually pretty hush-hush. Wow. And if we go there, we might find this guy. Hmm. Yeah, maybe able to un uncover the truth. I intend to do the same and get some evidence. Evidence. We can't put a story out without solid evidence, but if we can get some dirt on him, something we can't we can't talk his way out of, we'll have him cornered. For that, we need to get him with his guard down. Going by myself is too reckless, however, so I'd like to ask for your help. I see what you're getting at. I'm in. Hold on. Hold up. It's way too risky. You screw up and you'll be thrown out of the game for good. That and someone's bound to recognize you. But I... I'll go. That'll work, yeah? Arigato na. Yeah. Thanks. Head to the Rose Blossom whenever you're ready. We'll meet out front. Yo. Hey. Hold on. Put us on. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why suddenly take a risk like this? in serious trouble if she hits the fan, won't you? I guess seeing you go the distance for a complete stranger made me feel ashamed for putting out so much crap all these years. I'm a journalist. Words are what I do. I'm not using that power to put a-holes like him in their place. Then what's the point? <laughs> Plus, I'm a fan of Anzai. Watching him play ball inspired me to chase my dreams. The least I can do is try to give it up. Try to give back. <laughs> Pretty passionate guy. I thought all the reporters were full of shit, but I guess there's some good ones out there. True. Yeah, so I had to get you mixed up in this. Counting on Kazuka son. Leave it to me. That asshole won't know what hit him. I'm meeting with Kudo at Rose Blossom. I'll head over there when I'm ready. How all that running around is doing for us. Almost got this one maxed out. Nice. You literally just keep walking. That's um let's see. Just let's just walk there.
bento got thrown out with half the food left in it. What a waste. Yeah, I wouldn't eat that. The leftovers like those are dangerous. The bacteria multiply faster. Oh, I won't. I'm guessing you've made that mistake before. <laughs> no way. I got more pride than that. I don't do bacteria. <laughs> oh, yeah? So what if someone tossed out an unopened bento? Yeah, well, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I get it. <laughs> oh my god, that was a good one. Man, the writing for the, the for the dialogues are so fun. Trying to get past these enemies so I don't have to like really Oh god, okay. Another Tojo clan crest. That's Rose Blossom, a well-known cabaret club around these parts. So this is where it was. Huh. Yeah, it's been damn near forever since I've been inside of one. I think I'm having withdrawals here. You are aware I work at a cabaret club, right? Yeah, but I know you personally. I'd see right through the facade. If you really think I'd put up a facade just for you, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I wouldn't mind seeing your business facade. I don't know. It'd be cool. But enough about that. We'll come back and check this place out, okay? Yeah? You mean it? Uh, I hate to kill the mood, but I'm broke. You think I'd make you pay after inviting you out? I'm not that rude. Sweet! Kasuga, you're a gentleman and a friend. Yeah, well, count me out. There's no way I'm setting foot in a cabaret club on my day off. It'd be way too awkward if I ran into one of my former girls. If anything, I'll go kill time somewhere while you boys enjoy spending your money. Yeah? Uh, thanks, I guess? Woo! Can't wait. Oh, I wonder what kind of girls they have. Mm. We haven't even gotten in the door yet, Adachi-san. Nightlife, you can shame their bonds with uh, his boys by enjoying um, local nightlife. And don't forget the ladies. They may not be much of a hostess clubs, but there are plenty of things they enjoy too. Mix a little food and drink, and you've got a recipe for a good time with friends. While the boys play, the ladies will spend their time relaxing, and this is. And this way, everyone's HP and MP is restored. Oh, okay. Well, we don't need to really do that part. Um, but we do want to do that quest. It's out here somewhere. It's an SM club. You'll find out when you get ordered here. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, there you are. You're here. The manager just arrived. Perfect. All right. Let's do this thing. All right. Cheers to the shark star's big win. Cheers. Nah. Hey, Mr. Manager, drinks are on you today, right? <laughs> So that's how it is, huh? Well, we did win. Sure, drink all you want. <sighs> so that's Anzai's manager. <laughs> Talk about a win, man. It was so close. Not often we get such a big tight game. Really? Thought thanks to Hanayama's getting deck like that. <laughs> no kidding. Hanayama's the only one that got hurt, right? That guy Anzai took out, it was all over TV. <sighs> You know, Anzai was my kind of guy too. Shame he turned out to be such a creep. I'll say. A couple choice words from manager here. And he flat out downs another player. Ain't that right? What? <coughs> Wait, did you tell him to do that slide, Mr. Manager? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I didn't. I just gave it to him plain and simple. All I said was we shouldn't have been able to win the Hanayama with Hanayama in the picture. Told him if he was loyal, he'd take care of it. That's all. <laughs> oh, you're a bad boy. Once I became a basketball player after manager picked him up, there's no way he'd disobey someone he owes so much. <laughs> Still, good thinking. You're really playing to win. <laughs> Gotta keep a good hand on those who owe you. He did well. We get a big win after he takes the big fall. <laughs> Since he's out of the game, I'll at least give him an some referrals for whatever he ends up <laughs> very Go. kind of you appreciate you clearing that up boys mm -hmm. who are you i'm your local journalist kudo and i've just recorded everything you've said eh? what? i got proof you're behind all this foul play once i get this over to the press you're finished <laughs> <laughs> you make it to them in one piece maybe who do you think you're dealing with uh oh uh -huh. don't underestimate me you can't say manager if you don't know don't learn how to play the game send back kudo -san. but you said you were good with words right well this is what i'm good at matter of fact i'm just the guy for the job leave it to me right good luck Ooh. boys i want these idiots and their precious evidence gone <laughs> fine by me let's take it out front I'll take on the whole damn team. All right. I like this move because it hits everybody. Here we 
For all those multiple hits. Moving up in the world. Hell yeah, level 20, guys. <laughs> Man, that all you got? Arigatona. Thanks, you really saved my ass. Don't sweat it. Anyway, you better get on that article, yeah? So. Yeah. For the first time in a long time, I'll finally be able to write something worth reading. Runza will be able to return to the ba to baseball with us. This is for helping me with our little interview. Take it. Old fountain pen. Oh. Give my regards to Hanayama and Runza. Yeah. Sure. Who uses that? Not sure if now Runza can uh, make his return. Better let him know. Before that, let's go grab some drinks. Oh, you can have up to two. Any noodles? Water just like noodles. I'm not trying to break the bank here, but
Let's see, like, what, what this does. I, I kind of forget. What are you drinking? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'll be back. I'll be back soon. Later. I may need to puke. Let's see. Check that out in terms of tasks. Oh, the Miracle of Spice is all the way in the back over there. Okay. It's like all the way over here. Okay, let's... Let's just take the cab. It'd be, it'd be much, much more efficient if we just do that. All the side missions. Yo. Hey, you're that guy from before. Your manager admitted to everything. Huh? It'll be out to the public soon. And then you'll finally be able to put this all behind you. You can get back to playing baseball again. Pretty cool, huh? <sighs> no. That was still my fault. I have no intention of returning to the field. Damn. Why you gotta be so stubborn? <sighs> sure. My manager may have given me the order. But in the end, I'm still the one that went through with it. <laughs> no matter what my manager said, if I hadn't done it, none of this would have happened. <sighs> you don't understand. Baseball is sacred, and I ended up betraying it. Whatever the world says, I don't have any right to play the game ever again. <sighs> Not after putting Hanayama out of the game like that. <sighs> Hey, hey. Don't act like I'm down and out just yet. Huh? Hanayama. <laughs> Still stubborn as hell, eh, Anzai? Oh my god. Hanayama. Hanayama. I'm so sorry. Anzai. No! I gotta say this. I took away baseball from you. Even knowing how much you loved it. I am truly... Terribly sorry. <sighs> like I just said, don't talk about me like I'm out for good. It's not over for me yet. You haven't taken anything from me. <laughs> huh? I can't say this doesn't hurt. But I'll recover. And I'll make my triumphant return. Just watch. The fans will be sad if I don't. And what's worse, my good friend will just stay depressed. Hanayama. Whether you come back or not, that's up to you to decide. Either way, just keep this in mind. When I step back out on the field, it won't be the same game if you're not in it. <sighs> Hanayama. You're not gonna make it up to me by moping around, are you? If you want to make it right, then do it on the diamond. We're baseball guys, aren't we? <laughs> come on, Anzai, don't worry about it. Why don't we give it another crack? We'll climb back up together. Why? Why would you ever be willing to forgive someone like me? Well, that's what friends do, right? <sighs> Hanayama. Hey, thank you. <laughs> oh, good thing there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> And we've required. Um, we have a new person that we can recruit. Nice. 
Okay. Gotta go all the way up here for this thing. Let's complete... Excuse me. Let's go from here and go to... We can, I think we can run across, actually. Let me just put a marker where we need to go. We're gonna go to the vocational school. One of the locations for a movie I saw last year. Lover of Hama, I think. You guys seen it? Nah, never really got the chance back when I was on the force. If I had enough money for a movie, I had enough money for cheap sake. And I was still in prison last year, remember? Forget I asked. Part time hero. Make a pouch. It's a level three, though. I don't know if we can take this guy out. Turn to hustle. We'll try it. We'll see if we can do it. What level are these guys? I got this. Okay, it should be. It shouldn't be too bad, actually. I am secret too. Lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> Hey, oh, wow. Here we go. I wouldn't underestimate me. Check this out. <laughs> You're gonna be in a world hurt. You sure you can beat me? Oh, we're like, we're like charmed. Got it. I'll show you. Give me a bullseye. I'm drunk. That's what it is. Got it. Hold it together. There you go. I'm getting stronger. Nice. With finesse. Let's see, glad you've been keeping up with your Suji deck. In fact, I'd like to give you a little something as a reward. Stop by the Sujimon Center when you can. It's on the second floor of that building off Sakura Lane, conveniently marked by the Sujimon icon in your map. Your Sujimon Sensei. All right, cool. We'll have to make our way up there. Today was quite productive, President Kasuga. You can stop that any time now. Why can't you act like a normal person? I, I, yeah, you're right. Uh, let's be open with each other, Kasuga-kun. So, you still gonna keep on coming here? Oh yeah, these certificates are more than just access to jobs. They're proof of my life's work. That's not something I'd want to give up. Besides, you could say I have a special someone here. Oh, really? Who's your special someone, Ikari-san? Uh, uh, no! 
Uh, that, uh, no one, no one's my special someone. I mean, no one's special to me. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, okay. <sighs> anyway, it'd be better for you too if I stayed here. I mean, who else are you gonna turn to when you need help? Yeah, good point. You do help me out a lot, man. <laughs> Don't mention it. After all, you're my boy. <laughs> Damn straight. Aww. Nice. So let's see. What do we have left to do? We do gotta stop by the Sujimon Center. We'll do that even oh pretty soon. Um we gotta go like up here actually. Try to avoid enemies. Maybe if we can get to this, we can actually do that and try to avoid. Um, let's see. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, no, we got. Oh, she's so. <laughs> Wasn't sure if we we're going to avoid those guys. Enough traffic. The enemy is defeated. Whoa, darn it. Gotta go up here. Uh, let's see. Painted silver. You got a real nice shine there, bud. Promise I'll take good care of you. My cheeks red. for these guys to move.
There we go. There we go. This sucks. How am I supposed to rebuild my form from scratch? Hey, you all right? You didn't hurt your leg or anything, did you? Huh? Oh no, it's nothing like that. You see, I'm a sprinter on a track. And I'm trying to improve my time. Huh, that's cool. Yeah, well, when I asked my coach for advice, he told me I should work on my form or I'll never get any better. But whenever I try to fix my posture and focus on breathing, and all that, my time just gets worse and worse. I guess I just need to pick up a style and run with it to catch my drift. Wow. Sure, and hey, you'll get it eventually. Just keep put it, uh, putting in work. You say that, but it feels like all this work is getting me nowhere. It's like I haven't made any progress at all. Mm. Poor guy, as much as I want to help, I don't know the first thing about track. I'm not really sure what the form is talking about either. Hmm? So I do remember the businessman running pretty quick. Was it because he ate that kimchi? Yeah. This shit was really spicy. I kind of remember running my ass off too. Hey, are you all right? Why'd you get all quiet? Oh, no reason. Maybe if I give him some of this killer kimchi, we, we could run as fast as he wants. Probably straight to the bathroom, but still. <sighs> but if the kimchi is too hot, he might pass out mid-run. Should I just give it to him anyway? Yo. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I got an idea. Try this. Huh? Try what? Kimchi. Yeah. There's a special pepper in it called Devil's Claw. I think it might help you with your problem. I know. Okay, so now I'm confused. What's kimchi have to do with my running form? We'll find out. Just take a bite. I still don't know what you're getting at, but if you insist. Oh, it's just regular old kimchi. Oh. Kind of spicy. No, wait. It burns! It burns! It burns! How was it? It it was perfect. <laughs> this is exactly what I've been looking for. That run I just had was amazing. Oh great. You found what you were looking for. Hi. Yeah, as my mind succumbed to the searing heat and pain, I could feel my ego dissolving. For a moment I felt like I was fall falling through reality. And then I became a god. We can just keep this up. I'll shatter my record in no time. And then the national record is next. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad it could help. Yeah, you really did. And to keep this kimchi infused god mode alive, I'm going out running again. I give you my thanks, spicy bear. Okay. Yeah, sure. Good luck. <laughs> I think this kimchi actually had a use. Maybe I'll share some with others who could use a little kick in the ass. Not that I expect to find that too often. Oh, right. That old lady. I wonder if she crossed the street yet. She can't still be struggling. Maybe I'll check just in case. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's go to uh, the bar now because we can actually do some things here. We'll do so Echo's last um, 
spawn level. Alright. Yo, Sachan. Huh? Sachan? Uh, wait. You're not Sachan? It's nice to see you again, Kasuga-san. We met at Sunlight Castle, isn't that right? Wait, are you Nanoha-san? But why are you here? Who told you to meet me? <laughs> it's me, Ichiban! Look closer, it's me, Saiko! Oh! So it is you, Sachan. If you can't see through it, then my performance must be good. I'm sure Katsuragawa will think I'm Nanoha too. Yeah, for sure he will. Even though, <clears throat> actually, I was just pretending to be tricked. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, I figured out where to find Katsuragawa. Nanoha's gonna pay him a surprise visit and tell him to hit the road. You're still coming with me, right? He's at his office right now. He said it was a consulting firm, but it's actually an illegal loan business. And his bodyguard and his employees, they were all in that shady biker gang he used to be in. Scum collects around other scum. Man, how did Nanoha get caught up with people like that? She might just be the kind of girl who's into it. Or maybe I shouldn't have butted into her life so much. You probably understand by now how bad I feel about all this. Hey, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe she's just the kind of girl who's into bad boys. Either way, let's go fix this for her. Time to take out the trash. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? I knew something was up with you. Showing up out of the blue like this. What's gotten into you? You realize what you're doing? I sure as hell do. I'm saying I won't give you any more money. Okay, but... And that means you have no reason to be with me, right? So we're breaking up. For good. Oh, come on, babe. Don't be stupid. It's not like I was going out with you just for the money. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Just give me what you owe me. Right here, right now. What? I can't right now. I, I gotta throw two million at my company soon, or it'll go belly up. Sweetie, you know how hard I've worked for this. I just need a little more. You could pull in two mil back at the Soapland easy. Hey, man, I gotta ask. How much have you already borrowed from Nanoa? Hey, man, I gotta ask. How about you fuck right off? If she lent you two million on top of everything else, how much of that total do you plan on paying back someday? You need to crawl back down out of my ass, dude. This ain't none of your business. You don't know, do you? Yeah, you want to borrow even more. You're lucky Nanoha's not a real loan shark. I'm lucky, because Nanoha and I are in love. Money don't matter to us, right, babe? These fucking tightwads. It's 1.3 million yen. That's the amount of money Katsuragawa-san has already borrowed from Nanoha-san. Hey, Yamashita. Stay out of this. Nobody asked you. Uh, uh, forgive me. It wasn't my place. Nah, no, thanks for speaking up, Yamashita. Good man. So, we'll be taking that 1.3 million back today. Who are you anyway? You're a real Yakuza-looking motherfucker. Maybe you're trying to take my girl's money for yourself. That's none of your concern. Give me back my money so I can be on my way. Nanoha, I love you. Come on. Remember what you said? Oh, what is up? Have always dreamed of what we have? Nanoha, How are you doing today, Kraken? We're perfect for each other. Honey, you're a sweet angel. And I'm the guy who protects you from all the bastards of the world. Ah, oh, so that's the excuse you've been using for dragging her down. He's one of the bastards I'm talking about! Yamashita, what are you waiting for? Toss this guy out on his ass already! No. Haven't you done enough? What? What did you say? Sir, step back and take a look at yourself. You need to let Nanoha-san go. She's been working herself to the bone to support her father. She needs the money. 
And besides, you've got a bunch of other girls coming around anyway. What the hell are you doing? I'm doing what's right, boss. You can't just keep squeezing the poor girl dry. And she shouldn't have to work at no damn soapland. I can't just sit by and watch this happen to an innocent woman. It, it just ain't right. Yo, why don't you think about who you're talking to? I'm the guy who saved your ass when you were a zit-faced teenager, remember? So unless you want to go back to being everybody's... Uh, I need to fix my, um... Every time someone calls you out... I recently just got Streamlabs up and running, so... I'll fix that followage command with you just out of fear? I bet they all hate your guts. All right, I'm just fucking sick of you now. Let's see if all I can actually do stop that. Stop standing around with your dicks in your hands and throw this guy out. Yamashita too, you goddamn traitor. <laughs> Can't see I didn't see this guy. Well, except for Yamashita-kun acting like a real man. That was a nice surprise. No kidding. You know, I've been looking for an excuse to cut ties with him. Maybe it's even simpler than that. Maybe you just like Nanawa. Yeah, maybe that's it. Wait, you do, don't you? <laughs> well, that's great, Yamashita Kun. Kind of cute, honestly. Yeah, yeah, you'll both be real cute after I crush you into little pieces. Yeah, I'll, I'll start to get working on those commands. I just was able to just get it up and running real recently. Right. I got this. Yaruga. You're in it now. Hmm. Let's go. Hold up, Kuyo. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'm gonna uh, figure out how to work on that. I'll get back to it, but thank you so much. Go ahead and just take care of all these guys. You're gonna get stomped. Come on now. He breaks the fence with so he does like, like, a, like a, I guess, a counter attack. You're in it now. Try this on the side. Oh, no Thanks, yo. There you go. Got my life back. Come on now. I'm not that dead. What? Really? Here we go. Why are you consumed with fear? That makes absolutely no sense. Check this out. Oh. Ow. Right. Still consumed by fear? Oh, God. Try this on the side. Here, I Could I? You're in it. Yeah. Ah, feeling better. Cool. All right, well. Let's finish you off. Come on, let's go. You're done now. Come on. Hell yeah. That's how you do it. Only well, we got two hundred thousand yen from this guy. Please, stop hitting me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Come on, where's all that fighting spirit, Katsuragawa? <laughs> Don't tell me you've had enough. <laughs> Give back all the money you borrowed from Nanoha right now, then get the hell out of Yijincho. If I see you around town again, I'll kick your ass even harder. If you reach out to Nanoha, you won't have an ass when I'm done. Okay, okay, I got it. Please, just let me go. <laughs> All right, I won't hit you again. I won't. Huh? You asshole. Don't you ever take advantage of a woman ever again! Go! Wait, are you for real? This is Nanoha's sister? She has a twin? Damn. Sorry to disappoint you, Yamashita-kun. I know you probably worked up all that courage to look cool for Nanoha. Sorry, Yamashita-kun. No, that's all right. I mean, running him off still makes life better for Nanoha-san. That's what matters. So, you're gonna keep acting like you never knew she worked at the soap land? Yes. And this whole Katsuragawa incident never happened, okay? I am dead serious about this. Okay. But she's definitely going to notice that her boyfriend suddenly skipped town without saying goodbye. And it happened right after she got a phone call from her estranged sister telling her to break up with the guy. What are you saying? You don't think she'll figure out her sis had something to do with his disappearance? <laughs> I mean, it'll almost be too obvious that Psycho said something to make him leave. Whoa. Now that you say that, yeah. That's fine, honestly. Can't really do much about it now, can I? But what if Nanoha gets pissed at you again? I thought you wanted to have a good relationship with her. Let's go to see you back in the chat. Ski mask. Haven't seen in a long time. About me is secondary to that. Still kind of. Thanks for stopping by. Hating you after you did so much for her. She would have ended up broke if she stayed with that douchebag. You deserve some credit. I'm just grateful I can still talk to her on the phone. All I want is for her to be happy. Still. Huh. I could always tell Nanoha-san it went down like this. Like what? I'll tell her Katsuragawa's firm took a nosedive and he bailed to escape all his debts. But I got him to leave enough to pay her back. That way she can get her money without knowing you two were involved. Nice plan. I like how it conveniently gives you all the credit, Yamashita-kun. Oh, you're right. Guess that's no good, is it? I don't want to take all the credit. After all, I only said what was true. It killed me to see you're caught up in Katsuragawa's game for so long. I kept telling myself that I would stand up for her if she ever needed it. But then I'd make excuses, telling myself it wasn't the right time. When I saw her, well, when I saw someone I thought was her, demanding what she was owed, I knew the time had come. Sajan. You hearing this? What do you think? Hey, Yamashita-kun. Yeah? Let's say you're at a restaurant or a store. How exactly would you treat the staff? I... I just try to be as polite as possible. Even though people don't expect it because of how I look, it's still the right thing to do. Okay. Well, you pass for now. <laughs> Setting the bar for being your sister's squeeze kind of low, aren't you? I said for now, didn't I? Huh? Don't worry. I'm still gonna watch over Nanoha from my big sister perch somewhere. So if Yamashita-kun turns out to be a total creep, then I'll just have to step in. Whatever it takes to make her happy. I get that. I'd want the same. <laughs> You're a good sister, Sachan. I'm sure Nanoha will eventually realize that. Hopefully sooner than later. Thanks so much, Ichiban. That's twice now you've helped me save my sister. I really am grateful, you know. I'm glad you're in my life. Nice. All right. Now we have Bombardier Bash as our tag team skill that we can use. We're going to leave her in the party, though. She's one of our best healers in the game. All right, let's try and help the lady go across the street. That's what we really have left for now. Oh, 
Oh, and we have this one that we can do. So we're going to do this. We're going to finish this one up. And then we're going to do this one. And I think by that time, we're probably going to be... We're probably going to have enough time to end it for today. But that's going to be kind of like our goal. This way. Here you go, lady. Now we can finally help you cross the street. After all this time, she still can't cross? Uh, oh, I know. Let's, let's finally help her get across the street. Somehow. Ma'am, are you still having trouble? Hmm? Oh, you're that young fella. Here's my dilemma. I can almost make it, but then the light starts flashing and I get cold feet. <sighs> Back in my heyday, I was the star of the track team. Quick foot Ume, that's what they called me. <laughs> How many decades ago was that? Just an old fossil who can't even cross the street. Oh, if only these legs still worked. Now I get where she's coming from. In her heart, she's still a star athlete. I bet this kim she could give her the kick she needs. Maybe I should offer her some right before the signal changes. Let's share the last kimchi. Granny, try putting a little of this in your mouth before the signal changes. Oh, nice. What is this? That's not kimchi, is it? It is. And I know it may sound bonkers, but this stuff will light a fire under your ass, no doubt. Ugh. Truthfully, I've got half a mind to shoo you away for suggesting I engage in such nonsense. But I've seen what a kind person you are. You're honest to a fault. And I do know you mean well. I'll trust you, young man. Awesome. Randy, you finally crossed the street. That was sick, Granny. <laughs> I'm either crying from joy or how spicy that was. Either way, I could finally relive my glory days. And it's all thanks to you and that kimchi. But goodness, that was fiery stuff. Nearly burned me to ashes mid-run. <laughs> oh, I... oh, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. I'd say I'm more than just all right. 
I feel light and limber like never before. Where might I find more of this miraculous kimchi? Oh, uh, an older guy on Sakura Alley sells it. He might still be around. Is that right? I ought to spread word around the neighborhood association. Uh, make sure you warn everybody. I will certainly try. In any case, see you around. Good job, Granny. Glad it all worked out. I'm thinking that kimchi seller might want to know about what happened. Let's go and complete that. And we can also get a reward from the Suji Jack guy, so that this all kind of works out. Huh? What's with the mob all of a sudden? One order of Miracle Kimchi, please. Me too. Me three. Me four. Whoa, what the crap? He's swamped with customers now. Oh, you're the young man from last time. As you can see, my business took off out of nowhere. I'm raking it in right now. Yeah? Good to hear, man. But I'm puzzled as to how my kimchi suddenly got so popular. People keep asking whether it helps with running or romance. Would you know anything about that? Uh, good question. The important thing is, business is looking good. And I know people like the flavor, so I'm sure they'll be back for more. I sure hope you're right. Can I get some kimchi, please? Oops. <laughs> I guess I'll get out of your way. I want to hold up the line. Well, I encourage you to stop by again. I'll sell you kimchi anytime. Ooh, you're the gentleman from earlier. Hey there, lady from the crosswalk. Remember that kimchi you gave me? I went ahead and splurged on a huge batch. He gave me some extra as a bonus for buying so much. So would you care to join me? Ooh, sounds good. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> it burns! <laughs> Yeah. And now we have Yumiko as our one of our man in our management menu. Sweet. Hmm? Let's talk to this guy actually right here. Let's see, I wanna get The high-end kimchi over there. I wanted to get a um. Ooh, this is actually pretty good. Sparkling rosé. Um. We're trying to get a deck of cards, actually, or darts. You might actually eventually start buying weapons, but we're gonna save that. This is, a good, this is gonna be a story we might come back to. Arigato. So let's go this way. Um, we have to go um to let's see that guy. Let's go south and then uh, let's go and go get a reward for the Suji decks that we got. Oh, maybe it's down. We gotta go.
Yeah, sure. Oh, what was that? Improve my confidence. actually use that probably use the manuals oh we don't need to do that one yet yeah we'll save we'll save that one We can play Mahjong. Yeah, we can play Mahjong. It's a secret Mahjong for the spot. I think it's right here. There you go. Where I needed to go. Oh. Greetings, friend. I see you've been giving the Sujimon app some use. So let me tie you over. Yes, it's just some more so I'm aware. But you have to make you for now. <laughs> okay, cool. else in here too okay, cool. so if we pick we pick that item up now we can actually leave oh damn wrong guys here we go let's go here now you can see the tag team tag team move let's go I can see their tag team move.
Actually, we can go this way. Beat this guy up. Battle is on. I can see him. I am secret too. There we go. Give me a full <laughs> Nice. Okay. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't out. underestimate you. Here we go. I'm ready now. Take that extra hit. You're gonna be in a yes. world of hurt. It's burning now. Let's go. Blocked it. Yeah. Ow. Drink? Give me a double shot this time. Sir, haven't you had enough? I think you should call it a day. I thought it was a bartender's job to give people their drinks. But you're being unreasonable, sir. I'm only concerned for your health. You should at least have a sip of water. So you're cutting me off? Way to make a man feel unwanted. Sir, can you please calm down? You're causing a scene right now. Yo, mind if I step in? Huh? Buddy, just take the water and chill. You'll feel a lot better. You know what? You all are a bunch of buzzkills. I'm taking my business elsewhere. The heck was his deal? He's not a regular, is he? He sort of is. It was actually Il Yu Jin, a former Korean megastar. You didn't recognize him? Nah, unfortunately I can't begin to keep up with that stuff. Pretty crazy to run into somebody famous here of all places though. That's a first for me. Well, he's retired from the industry now. Got caught up in a scandal. He always had such a clean image too. But I guess fame changes people. Today wasn't even the worst I've seen him. Hope he's not causing trouble somewhere else. A former star, huh? Let's let's go order some food. Let's select everything from the menu. Who's hungry? Me. So what's good now is that we've kind of unlocked a lot, so we can actually just 
teleport our way there. Use this taxi. Needs to be amazing, you know. Not a piece that can stop traffic. One time I ran on an entire department store just so I could shop. All his fan would be buzzing around me like flies. Being a star is not easy, you know. <laughs> Don't get me started on taxes. Those government skills will bleed a man dry. <laughs> Am I right? Hey, you hearing me? You hearing me? Hearing me? But I wasn't listening to begin with. Can you go away now? Huh? Excuse you? I. A living legend gives you the time of day and you brush him off? You should be winning your pants right now. I wish I'm sorry, it's been a pain in the ass. Guess I better handle it. Go. Hey. I know you're a big star and all, but that doesn't give you the right to crash land in every drinking hole in the city. You've had enough. Excuse me, who do you think you are? My mother? You must be out of your mind. Chastising a legend like me. You mean former legend? Huh? You just had to go and insult me, didn't you? Well, I'm done being everyone's punching bag. Now it's your turn, jerk face. <laughs> Let's get it done. I got this. Now we're talking. There we go. Well, let's sober you up a bit. It wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be this way. <sighs> Very now he's crying. You just leave a man when he's crying. Can you? I'm really gonna have to lug him somewhere else. And this guy's a mess. Yo, come on, guy. Can you at least stand. How about now? Feeling a little bit, a little better? See you, Yeah, Yes, so I'm drawing a blank on what's ha just happened, but it's coming back in bits and pieces. I can faintly recall being an asshole, and for some reason, my entire body hurts. Yep, as it should. I feel like I need to apologize. I really have hit a new low. I used to inspire millions, and now I'm just this poster boy for alcoholism. See. I'm an actor from Korea. I used to be in all kinds of movies. Yeah, I heard. Wasn't your name? <laughs> Illusion. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's it. At least somebody here remembers me. That almost makes me happy. That reminds me, who are you again? Yeah. Just call me Kazuga. It's always drowning your sorrows in a waterfall of booze. It'll pickle your liver, you know. I don't care. It's not like I need a working liver in the first place. <laughs> Maybe I should just pickle it. Come on, man. People used to adore me. I thought I had it made. 
Yeah, I heard from the staff you're some kind of Korean superstar. Wish I knew more about it, but I don't. Yeah. No, it's it's fine. That was ages ago anyway. Listen, why does a famous guy like you need to binge out out here? Here's the story. Up until about a decade ago, I appeared in all kinds of movies from here to Korea. It was hectic, but I really, I was really living the dream. Thankfully, I had the best manager a guy could have. And I could have held up without her. Like she was there for me before I meet a big. She had charm. She had style. She really was one of a kind. Everybody in the business loved her. Then one day, she caught the eye of this big name producer. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Hi. Well, she ran across a legend in the industry. He was involved in every flick that mattered. Always got what he wanted. I'm sure you know the type. The thing is, he was always known for being a sleazy bastard. He came to me with an offer. He gave me the biggest role in my career for one night alone with my manager. Shh. Bastard is right. Obviously, I turned him down repeatedly. But then came the day that monster took my manager into his car and started forcing himself on her, right in front of my eyes. The only thing going through my mind was protect her, and before I realized it, I knocked his ass out. As a result, he got the press to start a smear campaign against me. It worked. I got forced out of the business before I even knew what was happening. How did that producer not get flack, uh, flack for this? He framed it like he was a victim. And the worst part is, he's still out there doing his thing. Except now people love him even more. Damn. What the hell, and you're okay with that? Yeah. Of course not. Protesting would only make things worse, particularly for my manager. She already left the biz to work at home with her family. The girl box Troy or something like that. Anyways, I don't want to cause her any more grief. Besides, I did assault a man. That much is the truth. <sighs> Mm. Oh. Maybe there was a smarter way to handle things, but at the time I couldn't think of it. I let my fans on and ruined my career in one punch. That clean, upbeat image I worked so hard to keep was shattered in a night. Damn. How the story got there. Maybe I'm still drunk. I seem to be blabbering more than usual. It makes you feel better. You let it all out. I'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> You say that, but that's all I have to. Are they out and in, though? They say. When I said it all out, it wasn't what I meant. <laughs> you all right? Hold on, I'll go get you some water. <laughs> Sorry. Keep going out of your way for me. General goods cart over here. I can probably go over here. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。I need to take a picture of that guy. One of the coppers that was in Part Time Hero Quest.
Yokohama sure is big. All this running around's wearing me out. Wow, so manly, Ichiban. Some real heroic words there. Hey, you can't just say that kind of stuff out loud. What? You can't stereotype stuff into manly or girly like that anymore. People are sensitive to gender discrimination these days. They'll call you right out on it. You know, that sort of thing never really bothered me. But I guess if it's that big a deal, I'll try to choose my words more carefully. Wow, Kasuga. Absolutely pathetic. Just throw in the towel, you loser. How is that any better? Really use a drink right about now. Oh yeah, beer sounds great. I was thinking wine. White wine's real good at this time of year. Yeah. I could really use a drink right about now. Oh yeah, beer sounds great. I was thinking wine. White wine's real good at this time of year. Yeah. You a big wine guy, Adachi Sai? I guess so. Wanted to be a sommelier way back. Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to go here. Oh, not, not there, but uh, where is it? Where is it? Where was I trying to get to? When? So why didn't you? You know, I could never stop drinking after that first sip. Uh, I'd get so drunk, I, I wouldn't have been able to tell a white from a red. Yeah, that'd definitely complicate things. Should I open it? Sweet! like a bad place. It shouldn't be here. I don't want to go into that territory yet. We're in, we're in definitely like territory we need to get the hell out of. Do I have water actually for him? I think I do. Wait, actually, wait. Never mind. Um, okay, let's try, let's try to go back there. I think I can actually give him water. I think I actually have it. We were running around and, and getting... Doing things we didn't need to do.
かありますかそれでは I think, we had, I think we already had water on us. Let's go back and see if we can talk to him. I think we already had it. Yo. Yeah, I already had it. <laughs> Forgot that I actually had it on us already. Oh no, that's a ticket. You're a lifesaver. Man, hope none of your fans recognize you like this. Tell me about it. I've been snapping at strangers and bonding bartenders all because I can't let go of my past success. Guess you reap what you sow. Just look at me. Ten years gone by and nothing to show for it. I guess the bright side is that my Japanese improved as I drank myself into oblivion. That's about oh. it. I'm supposed to be an actor here. And an actor who lost all his fans in just a week. A little person pretending to be someone they're not. Hey, enough with the tears already, man. You're something else. Ah, no. Any chance are you Yuma-sama? Oh, no, you couldn't be. You do look a lot like him, though. Hmm? You mean Yusama? Yes, back in the day, there was this amazing actor called Go Yukin. Everyone in my generation was in love with him. When we appeared on screen or in public, you could hear the screaming man, fans blocks away. Wow. Sounds like it was practically worshipped. Oh, yes. When I came across him just now, I thought I was looking at a scene right out of our winter, winter sonata. The resemblance was uncanny. Must be a true fan if you're always carrying that around. <laughs> wow. The resemblance is pretty crazy. Yes, the film film's masterpiece. I can nearly recite it backwards and forwards. I met my husband here at the park. Did you believe we were both going on pilgrimages to wherever Yumasama was filmed? Oh, so he was a big fan too. Eh. Well, you bet. I'd be surprised how many men like Yumasama's films. But of course, we hit it off right away. <laughs> I guess it helps to have that in common, huh? <laughs> say that. Whenever you wanted to celebrate, we always find ourselves back here. We love to walk and talk. And of course, the topic would always be Yusam. Today is actually the anniversary of my husband's passing. So he said, I'm walking and reflecting, enjoying all the memories we made. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, don't be. Being able to talk about Yusama again reminds me of the old, good, old time, good old days. Yusama, you're out there. I hope you return to the silver screen someday. I wonder where you are and what you're doing now. Well, as long as you're healthy and happy, it's good enough for me. <laughs> I think you sound a pretty lucky guy having fans like you. Oh, no. It's an old lady with too much time on her hands. But I will say his fans ought to leave a place for him in our hearts so he can come back anytime. His work has inspired me throughout my life. I'm sure I'm not alone in that. Wouldn't it be sad if he felt there was nobody waiting for his grand return? He's our number one star, you know. Oh. Done. Well, I'm sure to talk to your off, but it'll be nice to see you boys again. Take care now. Yo. Hey, forget your pamphlet. Don't you want it? Why don't I let you have it? There's at least ten more at home. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you really are a true fan. Thanks. <laughs> So what was that again about losing all your fans? I hope you were paying attention just now. At least spoke nothing but good about you. And she was smiling the whole time. She probably kissed the ground you walk on. I know. She was very kind. So if all you do is drink yourself to death, wouldn't that break your heart? Same for all your other true fans. 
Maybe so. I think I've been using my fans as innocence. In reality, I want to escape the pain of what I've done. I'm the one who deserted them. Oh, I know I have a tall mountain in front of me. But if I can find the footing I need, I'm sure I can make the journey. <laughs> so you're saying you want to turn things around? Hi. Yeah. I want to be an actor again. And even if there's no person who gives a lick, then I'll do it just for them. And I'm all for it. Go get them. Eh. First things first, I have to get back in shape. Work off the belly, the beer belly and all that. So that's it. In any case, catch you later, Kazuka san. Okay. See ya. Okay, we're almost there. And we just gotta finish this. Well, just a few more things to do. Let's take a cab and head back to where we need to go. Let's go over to that one. Okay, so let's go to the cab real quick. So let's go. Well, oh, we got to go this way. Honey, oh, you, Jen, heard you're gonna make your bigger turn. Yeah, and hmm? hey, that's little Eugene. What's he doing? Thing is, I got pictures of you stirring up shit at Rodriguez, at Rodriguez just recently. <gasps> huh? I hate to think what would happen if these pictures of you got out. I'm sure, would fuck up your return to showbiz now. Damn you. <sighs> so the conversation's not going too good. Yo. Of course we're gonna get involved. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, Kazuka son. Oh, well, if it isn't you, son, was partner in crime. Perfect timing. I love to get an interview with you, too. Hey, who is this guy? Some wannabe paparazzi who calls himself Suzuki san. Hey. Please, I'm a freelance journalist. Respect, respect the profession. Anyway, I just so happened to be at Rodriguez when you two were having it out. I take the liberty of snapping a few pictures. Looks like Yusama still has the violent streak. Uh oh. The hell? Yeah, see, I knew they'd be perfect for a headline. Something along the lines of, oh, how about this? Yusama's at it again. Former star turned savage. <laughs> Not bad if I do say so myself. I'm about to earn a lobster dinner here. Yo. What the hell are you talking about? Obvious, isn't it? These pictures are going to be worth a fortune. You'll find out you. Saw to someone not once but twice. Wouldn't life itself be over for you? <laughs> Look, I'll make you a deal. I'll transfer you the picture. Poker 50 mil. Small price to pay for your entire future, don't you think? What? That's crazy. Hey. Alright, hold up. Whatever went down at that bar was between me and him. Nothing happened, and that's the end of it. No one cares what you say. All I need to do is take the shit out of context. That's what people believe. Creative liberties, you know. I hope you're not thinking I'm going around explaining to each and every person your version of what happened. <laughs> and so, so if I were you, I would just give me the money. It's not that hard a choice. You're right. It isn't a choice at all. No? Yeah. You're not paying a single yen to this big ass. Big ass punk. I know a scam when I see one. <laughs> Oscar. Hey. You. Delete, delete those pictures now. I'll let you step on his career. What? You think you can intimidate me? You think I'm some kind of charity? 
I'm used to big scary guys like you. You would think Raiders right, like you know, powerless. I can teach them all a lesson. Oh yes, I do. Maybe I should share the same lesson with you. Lesson in pure pain. Well, you still gonna be stubborn. See? They'll just have to add another article. <laughs> From the journalist to hero, the man who stopped Yu Yu Jin and his Yakuza pal. Not a loser. Hope you're ready. Oh, it's. You're in it now. <laughs> Well, he kind of deserved it. Yes. Definitely deserved that, that's for sure. You fraud. I can't believe you decked your producer over a bad contract. A contract? Yeah. To my understanding, he wanted more money, so he went and socked the guy. There was a time that this was all the news talked about. No. The only reason he did that was to get his manager out of a jam. Wait, what's this about his manager? That producer you seem to love so much actually tried to force himself on Il Eugene's manager. So in the heat of the moment, he did what he could to protect her. And to make sure she wasn't dragged into the spotlight, Il Eugene kept quiet. That's why... That's enough, Kasuga-san. Only the people involved need to know. Yeah, but... Wait, if your manager was a lady... Actually, I do know that producer had a terrible rep as a womanizer. And come to think of it, the whole fighting over money spiel was penned directly by him. Could that mean... You really did all that for your manager's sake? And you kept it a secret all this time? Even at the cost of your career? Suzuki-san, I will tell you this only once. Do not speak of this to anyone. I'm not gonna let some media clown track down my manager and ruin her life again. If something like that does happen, you will be the one who pays. You look at me like that, I can tell you're not bullshitting. You protected her all right. Looks like I'm the fraud here. Instead of doing proper research, I only swallowed up the hype. Some journalist I am. All right, I deleted the pictures. Not a single one remains. Good. Kasuga-san, you really helped me turn my life around. Thank you. What can I say? You're a star with staying power. Keep your chin up, guy. <laughs> I certainly will try. But I do have the weight of what I've done hanging over my shoulders. Neither the media nor Suzuki-san had it wrong. I hit one man and caused others grief. My first order of business is to own up to what I've done. Make things right. Only then can I aim to be how I once was. An actor who touched people's hearts. <sighs> well, if that lady at the park is anyone to go by, I'd say you're off to a great start. <laughs> Maybe so. Here, why don't you have this? My way of saying thanks. A bullet of memory. Well, I guess it's so long for now. Okay. See ya. So that's Il Yujin. Wonder if I can find his movies at the video store. Huh? What was that just now? Oh, nothing to worry about. I took a picture of Yusama's first step forward. Been a while since I posted about an actor not screwing up his life. Who knew it felt so good to support someone? So, rather than yet another scandal, how about I cook up something a little more uplifting? Oh? An actor's road to redemption. Il Eugene announces spectacular return to showbiz. Well, how's that sound? <laughs> Not bad at all. One of these days, I'll get him to give me an interview. Not about his past, but what he plans for the future. After seeing how different he is, even the most jaded critic would give him another chance. Got that right. Guess I'll leave the journalism to you then. Ah. 
Should have got me his autograph. Okay. We now have him in, recruited as, uh, as one of our pound mates. Nice. All right. Finally, we can do the last mission. <laughs> the last sub story. Finally. Let's finish all this up before we finish today's stream, guys. Sorry, I'm kinda in a hurry. Oh. Hmm. Excuse me? Could I bother you for a donation? My little brother is sick and I need money for his surgery. First, we're going to help the little girl out. Oh, sure. Wow, thanks. Let's just, we can do. There you go. Oh, a hundred yen. Sorry, that's all I've got. Oh, no, thank you very much. <laughs> it's nice to finally receive a donation. I saw you earlier, but it doesn't look like things are going too well. Yeah, it's true. No matter how hard I try, everybody just keeps walking past me. You're doing this all by yourself? Where are your parents? They've been working late to save up for the surgery. I got ya. It must be tough. That's why I have to work just as hard as them. Besides... Please donate to children who are less fortunate. Donations, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Those two are gathering money for children they've never even met before. I think that's amazing. It makes me want to try even harder. Sure. You're a good kid. So... She's not going to earn Jack in a place like this. Why don't we try this somewhere else? Huh? You won't get anywhere calling out to random strangers. You got to draw some attention. Here, I'll help you out a bit. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Megumi. What about you, mister? I'm Kasuga. Okay, let's see if there's a better spot. Might help us draw in some donations. Let's select this one. Okay. 
let's try by that shop over there. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see if this works. Moto. Hey. Can't do that here. Hmm? I'm the manager of this store. Can't have you soliciting out here without at least telling me first. You need permission these days? Yes, that was a rule long time. Uh, rule long time. Sorry. My bad. I totally forgot about that. If it's cool with you, can we post up outside your store? Hello. Please. It's for my little brother's surgery. Well, if that's the case, go right on ahead. I thought you might be like those people from earlier. Hey. But I won't deny someone with such good. With such good cause. Oh, thank you very much. Nonsense. You're doing the hardest part. Best of luck. Cool, we got permission. Let's get back to it. Hi. Yeah. Um. Wow, that's a lot. See, it's all about location. I tell you with the manager now too, so this place is your best bet. Hi. Yes. Thank you for your help. I'll stay here and keep going. So, I bet it's a lot tougher with all these people around now. You know? Definitely more tired than I was before, but it's nothing compared to what Mokun is going to. Mokun. Hmm? Ah, your little brother. Yep. He's really looking forward to going to this park. Mom and dad again. <laughs> yeah, cool. Let's make sure that he gets to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have to get home soon. Thank you very much for all your help. What a sweet kid. Oh, hey. Didn't know you were here. <laughs> I wasn't sure when to cut in. My apologies for earlier. I thought you were in cahoots with those guys over there. Mm -hmm. Who them? Looks like they're collecting for some kind of cause, right? Something wrong? <laughs> I don't have any proof, but I think they're just collecting money to line their pockets. Just a rumor, but wouldn't that be terrible if they were true? Especially if they're using kids in need as bait. I was worried you two might be doing the same thing. No kidding. Yeah, well, wrongful assumption on my part. You can use my surf at any time. I just want to let you know now. You no, know, now if you excuse me. <sighs> There's a rumor about those guys is true. Nah, you can wait. I should check out Megumi when I get the chance. Okay, let's see. Okay.
で行かれますか。それでは出発いたします。Gotta go back to her. So do that. But we take us. Listen, we're gonna be working hard as always. Please make a donation. A little brother is sick and needs money for his surgery. Doesn't look like anybody can hear her. No surprise, considering all this traffic. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Huh? Oh, how's it going, son? We're seeing more donations than ever. But I'm still a long way from my goal. I see. Yeah, in that case, you just need to let your voice be heard. I was watching you earlier. It looks to me like you're not getting loud enough. <sighs> um, so how do I do that? Sure thing. Here, let me show you. Huh? He here is to get everyone to stop the tracks. How the hell am I gonna do that? Let's just try this one. Huh? Yo, a UFO. <laughs> what? What? Where? One billion likes, here I come. <clears throat> Okay, they stopped, but now they're looking for the UFO. Oh, wait, it was just an airplane. Guess I should get my eyes checked. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? I thought it was about to go viral. So, wait, there's no UFO? Sorry. My bad, not sure what I was thinking. Okay, but let's try this again. Everybody, listen up real quick. What's going on? What happened? See, that got their attention. Do it just like that, okay? You're up. Give it all you got. Hi. Um, okay. Everyone, please listen to what I have to say. My little brother is sick and needs money, so if you could, please consider donating. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yeah. Donation? Maybe I should do something good for once. That girl's way younger than me, but look at her go. I should donate too. Sure, I'll donate. Huh? Wait. What the hell is going on here? Wow, look at all this. Thank you very much, everyone. I didn't expect to receive this much. Thank you, Kazuka-san. Hey, all I did was give you a little advice. You gonna be okay on your own? Hi! Yep. <laughs> Good to hear. I'll keep it up for you. Well, keep it up for your brother. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I see. Shitting me. Who does that girl think she is with her stupid little pink cat? He's messing up our whole scam. Hmm? Girl with the pink cat. Is she talking about Megumi? Oh, good. She just got lucky this time. Don't worry about it. Oh, we could have 
I've gone from Yakuniku if not for her. Now we're stuck with fast fucking food. I'm so pissed. Feel how late the donation box is. Not like you're the only one suffering. I got my motorcycle to worry about. Seems like the rumor about these two is true. Yeah, Man, we gotta do something about that kid. <laughs> okay, fine. We see our spot again. We'll crush the little shit. Yo. Yo. Hold up a sec, guys. Mm -hmm. What the hell do you want, pops? Wait, you're with the kid? Collecting donations only to spend it on yourselves? How long can you get? How low can you get? So... Are you eavesdropping on us? Those donations are more than just money, a lot more. That shit is people's hope. Their desire to be bigger than themselves by helping someone else. First you tramp all over everyone's goodwill, and now you're talking about crushing a little girl? Not on my fucking watch. Their goodwill? Dude, you're so cringy. Yeah. Hey, how about we teach Gramps some care lesson? Gonna make getting rid of that brat much e that much easier. <laughs> yeah, and maybe we can squeeze a donation from him while we're at it. <laughs> I'll see you try. Real tough guy we got here. Bye. Okay. Okay, okay, we learned our lesson. We'll leave the kill alone. Yo. Jerks. Do you know why she's collecting donations? Huh? No, no idea. I'm sure you guys saw how hard she is working back there. Listen up. So it was for her little brother? We are so focused on money, we didn't even bother listening to her. That girl barely knows which way's up, but she's out there doing her best just so she can help her brother. Hey. Putting that, putting that into perspective, what you guys were doing sounds pretty shitty. Doesn't it? On top of that, she even says she looked up to you guys for trying to help kids in need. Mm -hmm. I won't say anything about you two to McGillie. She's already going through a lot with her brother. Last thing she needs is anything that'll bring her down. Ugh. Man, I feel like a real ass. Uh. Yeah. All right, we just got this one last one we gotta do. We just gotta complete it. I can avoid these dudes. Who the hell's this dog? Belly, probably inspired by Mexico. It is a taco place, after all. I love a good taco. Just thinking about it makes me want to stuff myself. For real? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're good, but aren't they too rich to eat a whole bunch? I get it as, like, an appetizer or something. I, uh, think you might be confusing Mexican tacos with octopus taco. Megumi, everything cool? Oh, Kasuga-san! You know, I haven't seen the usual donation people around here in a while. Huh. Hey, little girl, you got a second? Oh, it's you two!
Keep up the good work for your brother. Bye. Well, that's all I have to say. I did see ya. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. This is for all your help. Nice. Pearl earrings. Are you sure? Thanks. <laughs> Working hard as ever, I see. Can I make a donation? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Well, I'm gonna get going. Keep it up. Donations, huh? I never really gave it much thought. But I should give more the next time someone needs help. Then again, I should also be careful not getting scammed. All right. And if I look at our menu, look at our map, actually, we can see that we have everything. Pretty much completed. We're gonna set up a few things. So we're gonna go back and actually some right over here. Um, let's go. To... Yeah, let's go. Let's go eat somewhere kind of close by. Actually, we are pretty good. Right now, right now. So let's, um, let's, do this. let's go to the shop, which is like grocery store over here. Yeah, let's go to that one. And then, um, let's, take the, let's take the taxi. Hmm? Oh. I like a whole bunch of uh, that. Uh, uh, that. Uh, we can replenish MP. Let's go run back to the taxi. That's fine. Let's enter it for now. So, coming up in the next stream, this is what we're going to be doing, guys. We're going to be coming back to this area. Probably we'll be doing like a lot of um, a 
probably going to be doing this little zone for like a little while. And uh, leveling up our character for the next one. It's probably going to take us maybe about the like, next stream to do it. So anyways, guys, we're going to be ending it. Uh, for those of you who are on YouTube, and we'll see you guys next time.